Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the first race of the MFN PRA Call of Duty Custom Car Series. Looking forward to an exciting year here as we will prepare for Cup 11 customized model cars to take to Daytona here today. At the end of this uh, event as well, I will be posting what the schedule will look like. It will be a 30 race season and I'll be posting at the end of this race when I show the standings and everything just exactly where we will be racing for the next 29 events for this whole season here in the MFMPRA Call of Duty Custom Car Series. On the poll for the first race of this season is going to be Jeff Ehlers. He will start on the inside of T.O. Bain. Then it's going to be behind them Ryan Acosta and Jake Rogers. Brian Fleener and Christian James will make up row three. Bob Fergus and Andrew Gonzalez there in row four. Let's have these cars roll off now as they will complete two pace laps. And then as they are making their pace laps, we will show you the starting order for today's race here at Daytona. As you can see, a full 42 car field for this season. And just to let you know, if you are not in this field, we are not accepting new signups because this is only a 42 car field. That way we don't have to contend with top 35 rules. Every driver you see here in this field will be in the field for every race in this season. So Jeff Ehlers in the number 53 Discount Tire Chevrolet will get us underway. Green flag is out here at Daytona. Let's see how clean these guys are going to race. It's 42 cars, and that's not much room here at Daytona for the kind of stuff that may go on. Here comes Jake Rogers underneath T.O. Bain. He'll move him up to the way high side. In that Dollar General Dodge number 9, Brian Fleener coming up that inside line, bringing along Bob Fergus, but it still is Jeff Ehlers out in front. They are nose to tail heading here down the back stretch, pushing and shoving. Here comes Ryan Acosta down to the inside in that number 48 Sega Ford Fusion. He's going to try and take that inside line. Look at these guys back there. They're all lined up like a freight train. Two and three wide back there. Ryan Acosta with the lead, but here comes Brian Fleener to the inside line. He'll try and take the top spot with help from Bob Fergus and Brad Anamia. Brad Anamia trying to find his teammate, Jake Rogers. Both those drivers running for uh, Rogers Anamia Motorsports. Look at him! 3x3x3x3! Three by three by three by three, all behind Brian Fleener! My goodness! 
But man, this track here at Daytona must have some good grip for them to be able to run through the turns like that. Look at this gaggle of cars behind the KFC Chevrolet of Brian Fleener. Fleener going to come down and block Brad Anamia. Good move there by Fleener. But look at this. They must be three wide, at least nine, ten rows back. The question is, is that, those, is that so safe? Oh, Bob Fergus almost got turned by Jack Richards, bounced off of Nick Dillon, and somehow, someway, they all kept it straight. I thought we were going to witness the big one here early, but it does not happen. Thanks to some fancy footwork by Nick Dillon and Bob Fergus. Still, Brian Fleener out in front. Brad Anamia waiting for some drafting help. It's coming in the form of Timmy Pacioli and Daniel Schwab. James McLeod suddenly starting to make his way up here as well, as well as the Schwab racing entry of Matthew Rodriguez. Here comes Brad Namia trying to get down to the inside line. Still, Fleener puts the block. Pacioli now left out of the groove as he's going to slip to the back there. He'll fall into the clutches of what looks like that middle line led by Nick Dillon, but the inside line seems to be the place to be. Yet you got a lot of drivers up high, a lot of drivers in the middle. Here's a battle on for second. It's going to be Daniel Schwab coming to the inside line. He'll go on the inside of Brad Anamia. He's going to get help from his Schwab racing teammate, Matthew Rodriguez, there in the low Chevy Impala. These cars running absolutely incredibly close right now. Look at this from the spectator view. Look at how how they're spread out here but look at this three wide all back there battle is on for the lead logan or make that daniel schwab gonna try and take the inside line he's got his teammate in tow schwab racing working together here at daytona they go one two to the front of the field matthew rodriguez the last entry in this field Teaming up with Schwab Racing, and right now he's showing his loyalty to the team, pushing teammate Daniel Schwab to the front. Here come some cars on the inside line now, making a move under Adam Chambers there. Moving him into the middle is Alex Band. He's got Tim Walsh there and Evan Smith back behind him. Still leading the way is Daniel Schwab. Oh, the yellow lights are on. The pace car is coming off of pit road. The caution is waving as Matthew Rodriguez makes a move to the inside for the lead, trying to get the draft from that lower line. Daniel Schwab was unable to get down there, and so now Matthew Rodriguez takes the top spot over Alex Band, Tim Walsh, and then I believe that is Matt, uh, Evan Smith. It may be Chad Smith in the O2. And Tom Weekly's there getting a challenge for fifth from Sean Galligan at the stripe. It's going to be Matthew Rodriguez with the lead. Let's see why we're under the caution. Damage to uh, Jared Krosius as well as to T.O. Bain to start on the outside of the front row. Damage to Jake Rogers. Also, Ziggy Bain's got damage. Zach Carlson's got damage. Christian James may have damage and possibly some damage as well to the John Dillon machine. So, but I'm not seeing anybody smoking and I'm not seeing really any real bad damage with the exception of possibly Ziggy Bain but that's not any damage I think that would put somebody behind the wall but let's see why we are underneath the caution flag nonetheless for the first time today okay here we go they almost go four wide here it looks like it looks like Jared Croches is trying to get to the inside of Ziggy Bain they actually do go four wide here at Daytona and let's see if Jared Croches, does he bounce off of Christian Janes right there? He makes some contact with Christian Janes. Keeps it straight, though, but then he bounces off of him again. Christian Janes did get a piece of this. T.O. Bain gets a piece of it. Jake Rogers, Zach Carlson, and John Dillon. I think he slowed up enough and didn't get any damage. Look at that 33. Yeah, Dillon made it through. Dillon got to that inside line, so it was a six-car pile up here. Ziggy Bain, Christian Janes, Jared Croches, Jake Rogers, Zach Carlson, and T.O. Bain all involved here in the two, turn two vicinity. But we'll have to see if the damage is going to be too much for any of these drivers to be able to continue this race here at Daytona. All right, we're getting steady, ready to go back. Ready, yeah, we're getting steady. Ready and steady to get <laughs> back to the green flag here at Daytona. Two drivers retiring as a result of that wreck. They are the cars of Jake Rogers and and Ziggy Bain. So Matthew Rodriguez leads us under the caution. He'll lead us down to the restart. Why don't we give you a full field rundown right now as Matthew Rodriguez paces the field. He's got behind him in second, Alex Bann. 
third, Tim Walsh. Fourth is Evan Smith. And in fifth is Tom Weekly. Sean Galligan runs in the sixth position. Seventeenth is Jacob Bell. In eighth right now is Tim Froelich. Then it's uh, Charles Jackson there in ninth. And in tenth is Daniel Schwab. In eleventh is Joseph Bryant. In twelfth is Adam Chambers. Thirteenth position belongs to Dougie Shears. Fourteenth is Corey Williams. In fifteenth right now is uh, Tim Fiegel. And in 16th is Chad Smith. 17th is Brian Fleener. 18th position is Brad Anamia. In 19th is Ryan Acosta. James McLeod runs in 20th. 21st is Jack Richards. Timmy Pacioli runs in 22nd. 23rd is Wyatt Johnston. 24th is Bob Burgess. 25th is our pole setter, Jeff Ehlers. He's all the way back in that 25th position. Wow, he must have gotten shuffled way back there. Then we got Ryan Kingsley. He runs in 26th. 27th is Andrew Gonzalez. 28th is Jesse Kaplan. 29th is Nick Dillon. 30th is Paolo Gonzalez. 31st is Pichu London. And 32nd is Jacob Lawler. Then it's Clive Byrne. 33rd. 34th is Arnold Columbia. 35th, Robert Band. 36th is John Dillon. 37th is T.O. Bain. 38th is Zach Carlson. And 40th is Jared Krocious. Christian Jane's there off the pace. He's coming down pit road once again. He was running in 38th position, but the green flag is back out. We're back underway. We'll try and catch up and see what is going on with the Christian Janes machine. Why don't we take a look right now as Janes is coming down pit road in that two car. Remember, he was caught up in that wreck. Maybe he's just coming down for four tires and fuel. Maybe there's something wrong with the car. Let's see what the case is for the two. He's just down there for a four-tire stop. Not certain what the strategy is there, but here comes Alex Band to the inside line. Tim Walsh is going to offer the drafting help along with Evan Smith. Tom Weekly getting shuffled into that middle groove. And look at these cars now. They're kind of spread out now. They are three wide, but they are pretty spread out from about the middle groove and the high groove. But uh, I don't think it'll take them very long to be able to get back together and run as close as they did before three wide. Let's see if Christian James got out ahead of the leaders. He did indeed. There he is. He's now exiting turn two. These drivers just entering turn one. So Christian Jane still is officially on the lead lap. But you got to wonder if he's setting up for maybe if a caution comes out that he'd be ahead of these guys as far as fuel and tires. I don't know. But nonetheless, he's got to hope that these guys are not going to catch him and put him a lap down before a caution comes out. If a caution doesn't come out, then that would be even worse for him. He would end up finishing, I believe, in the 40th position. So Alex Ban is the leader. Evan Smith there in second. In third position now is the 27 car of Charles Jackson. He comes to the inside line now of Evan Smith. Joseph Bryant, Adam Chambers, they're up there as well in the top five. But it is all Alex Ban out in front. Matthew Rodriguez, remember we were talking about him? Well, that time by, he just crossed the stripe in the 13th position. He led coming down to the restart. He's now back to the 13th spot for that number 84, Lowe's Impala for Schwab Racing. Alex Band looking for his teammate to start coming up here. I'm not seeing him yet, though. He's looking for his older brother, Robert Band. Those two part of Band Racing. And here comes Adam Chambers, a member of Pichu Racing. He, Tim Walsh, and Pichu London all racing threes for Pichu Racing. And Chambers is suddenly up here in the mix, along with Tim Fiegel and Brian Fleener's back up here as well, bringing along the Wyatt Johnston machine. Chambers, whoa, how about that defensive move? Chambers was going to make a move right there at the stripe. Alex Ban somehow was able to throw the block. They are racing three by three once again here at Daytona. A two-car breakaway here. Alex Ban at the front, right behind him, pushing him down the back stretch. Is Adam Chambers, but not anymore. Chambers coming to the inside, and they are catching the Christian James machine. This could be trouble. Christian James is not completely up to speed as all these cars are. Here comes Chambers up on the back bumper of Christian James, but now it looks like Christian James is going to be able to get up to speed now with help from Adam Chambers, but look at Alex Band trying to battle back on that high side there. They're all wadded up here, and Alex Band is going to get by on the high side. They're going to now shuffle Christian Janes three wide. He'll move into that middle groove now, but I think he's now up to speed with the rest of these cars, but he is now one lap down. Here comes Tim Fiegel, putting an amazing move right there in turn one on Alex Band. Fiegel to the front, 
Charles Jackson offering the drafting help. Chambers, Wyatt Johnston back there as well. Wow, we're on lap 14 of 20 already. These laps have flown on by. Christian James, though, is back up to speed now that he's gotten into a pack of cars, but he is one lap down in the 40th position. Oh, and the caution is waving. The caution is out. Caution will fly. Let's watch this battle down to the stripe. Fiegel with the lead, and he will hold it in that Coke Zero Ford Fusion, and we'll see who's involved in this wreck. Oh, there's the car. Tim Froelich. Timmy Patch, you always got some damage as well. So does Jack Richards. Clive Burr, heavy front end damage to his race car. And it looks like possible damage to the Brad Anamia car. I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like he has a... No, it looked like he had a right front down, but he doesn't. And I'm seeing no other damage to any other race cars, so... You know, I don't know for certain, but I would wonder if it would have something to do with cars trying to get around the lap car of Christian James. Pacioli had some damage there. Tim Froelich did. Let's see why the caution is out for the second time today. We may end up having a green-white checker to decide this race. Okay, right back in here, right there is Tim Froelich. Just inside of him there is Timmy Pacioli, and right there is Jack Richards. They went four wide here. Another four wide incident that causes a wreck, this time in turn number three. There's Froelich, Pacioli, Richards. Richards comes up the racetrack, clips Pacioli. Clive Burr gets damaged there as well. And let's see, right there is Jacob Bell. Is he able to slow up and get by this? Looks like he is, so it's only a four-car wreck here in turn three involving Clive Burr. Timmy Pacioli, oh yeah, uh, Jacob Bell did get, well, maybe a little contact, I don't know. But there's Froelich and Jack Richards, all involved here in turn four, and that puts us under the caution flag. Let's see how we're going to end this race. Green, white, checkered, finished. That's how we're going to end this race here in the first race of the MFMPRA Call of Duty Custom Car Series. Here are the cars that ended up having a... Uh, their race cars have to be taken back to the garage area. Clive Burr is back in the garage area. Uh, Ziggy Bain is actually one lap down. Or to make that uh, Tim Froelich one lap down in the 32 car. He is 39th. And Christian James, we know, was a lap down. He is in 38th. But everybody else was able to continue. Let's go through the field as far as we can to show you where everybody's running here for this green-white checkered fight to the finish. Tim Fiegel is out in front. Charles Jackson there in second. Adam Chambers third. Wyatt Johnson is fourth. Jeff Ehlers is back up to fifth. Our pole sitters worked his way back up. Sean Gallon again is sixth. Alex Band seventh. Matthew Rodriguez eighth. Ninth is Evan Smith. In tenth is James McLeod. Joseph Bryant eleventh. Twelfth is Ryan Acosta. Thirteenth is Corey Williams. Fourteenth is Andrew Gonzalez. Fifteenth is Tom Weekly. In sixteenth right now is John Dillon. In seventeenth is Daniel Schwab. Dougie Shears' his teammate runs there in eighteenth. Nineteenth, Pichu London. And twentieth, Brian Fleener. Twenty-first, Chad Smith. Twenty-second, Christian James. Twenty-second, uh, actually make that... Uh, Christian James back in 38th, one lap down. 22nd position is Jacob Lawler. 23rd is Ryan Kingsley. 24th is Tim Walsh. 25th is Jesse Kaplan. 26th is Paolo Gonzalez. 27th is Arnold Columbia. 28th is Nick Dillon. 29th is Bob Fergus. 30th is Brad Anamia. Robert Band is 31st. Jacob Bell, 32nd. Zach Carlson, 33rd. 34th is Timmy Pacioli. 35th, Jack Richards. 36th is Jared Crocious. 37th is T.O. Bain. And one lap down in 39th is Tim Froelich. Green, white, checkered, finish. Can Tim Fiegel hold them off for two laps? Green flag is out, and we are underway. If the caution comes out, the race will end at the stripe. However, if we do not have a caution, the race will end just as soon as we have the checkered flag wave. Fiegel got quite a restart there. I don't know if that's such a good thing as Adam Chambers and Charles Jackson are trying to hook together here along with Wyatt Johnston to catch up to that 17 Ford. But it looks like they're going to start racing amongst themselves now. Not certain if that's a good idea. We'll see. Here's Charles Jackson. He's going to try and hook up that inside line that's coming up in a hurry. He'll move to the inside line in that Sprite Dodge. And now, just like that, Tim Fiegel has been caught, and he could very easily be passed. There are at least eight cars, Knowles to tail, down there on that inside line. Here we go. White flag will be displayed. They're going to go three wide at the stripe. Wyatt Johnston's going to make a three wide move. 
White flag was displayed. Tim Fiegel led that lap, but Wyatt Johnston has the inside line all rung up here. He'll get drafting help in the form of Schwab Racing teammates Matthew Rodriguez and Joseph Bryant. Sean Gallion coming up that inside line as well, and here comes our pole sitter. That's the 53 of Jeff Ehlers. It's Wyatt Johnston, but Matthew Rodriguez is going to come to the inside line. Now Joseph Bryant's going to make a move down low. Who's going to win this race here at Daytona? It's three wide. Bryant goes to the lead. Sean Gallag is going to slide by for the second position. Jeff Ehlers is going to slide to third. Can Galligan get by Bryant? Or will Bryant pick up the first win of the season? Here they come. Down to the stripe. Will there be a move made by Sean Galligan? Galligan will not make a move. And Joseph Bryant wins at Daytona. Galligan in second, and how about Jeff Ehlers working his way up? He'll finish in third, and the Schwab Racing teammates I'm seeing back there, Dougie Shears and Daniel Schwab, I think they worked together to finish in the top ten as well. What a finish. Joseph Bryant will go to victory lane for Schwab Racing. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with Jeff Ehlers. He started on the pole, slipped all the way back into, I believe it was the 25th position, and he finishes the day in the third spot. Absolutely incredible. Let's take a look at the official finishing order. Here we go. Joseph Bryant wins. Sean Galligan second. Third position is going to go to uh, Jeff Ehlers. Ryan Acosta, good run in fourth. And Tom Weekly will finish the day in fifth. Daniel Schwab in sixth. Matthew Rodriguez in seventh. Dougie Shears in eighth. All four Schwab racing cars finishing in the top eight. Good run for all of them today. Alex Band finishes in ninth. Wyatt Johnston who made that three-wide move, almost was able to take the win. He led under the white flag, but he finishes in 10th. Evan Smith in 11th, Peachy London in 12th. Adam Chambers, 13th. Charles Jackson, 14th. And Brian Fleener in 15th. Tim Fiegel, who led on that restart, finishes the day in 16th. Corey Williams, 17th. Jacob Lawler in 18th. Chad Smith, 19th. And John Dillon in 20th. James McLeod will finish 21st. Tim Walsh, 22nd. Jesse Kaplan in 23rd. The rest of the top 25 there are Andrew and Paola Gonzalez. Then it's Arnold Columbia. He'll finish 26th. 27th is Ryan Kingsley. Bob Fergus will finish in 28th. 29th position is going to be Robert Band. Nick Dillon 20 is 30th. Brad Namia will finish 31st. Uh, Jacob Bell in 32nd. The rest of these cars had damage in one way or another, finishing 33rd, Zach Carlson, 34th, Jack Richards, 35th, Jared Crocious, 36th, Timmy Pacioli, and 37th, T.O. Bain. Christian James finished one lap down in the 38th position. Tim Froelich also finished a lap down in 39th, and the cars out of the race in 40th through 42nd were Clive Burr, Ziggy Bain, and Jake Rogers. Well, the next racetrack we head to is Phoenix International Raceway. Hope you'll tune in for race number two. Congratulations once again to Joseph Bryant. He wins race number one. You've been watching the MFN PRA Call of Duty Custom Car Series. <laughs>